Hello, and welcome to this episode of the Arctic Dungeon Master. Uh, it is taking place in no other cool, cool place than my backyard in North Pole, Alaska. So, I uh, decided to have another fireside chat here um, and talk to you guys. Uh, it's the first great weekend we've had here in Alaska. And so I have a glass of lemonade. Um, so, uh, in today's fireside chat, I thought I would uh, talk about... Uh, well, this video is going to be another fight side chat, so it's either going to go until I have no more wood to burn, or I uh, run out of lemonade, or I run out of things to say. And uh, when I thought I would do this, um, uh, Spelljammer, uh, it's been announced, D&D uh, &D Beyond, or D&D &D whatever, the YouTube channel has been playing a uh, weekly episode on Thursday with their uh, group of D&D &D players, uh, professional players or whatever, uh, not the critical role people, but other people. And I don't know how, but I started watching it. Um, mainly the, the guy who's the DM, uh, he intrigues me. He's very interesting um, because his style is not like Matt Mercer's. Uh, very much reminds me of uh, Exandria or Exandria Unlimited um, and I uh, I like that style of play having fun um, and I like the uh, the girl who was the DM for that Exandria Unlimited she also did uh, Strixhaven one shot um, I like her style of play and DMing so she is also fun and enjoyable for me And, um, so I got sucked into watching this. Uh, I think there's like four episodes. I've seen two. I might have seen the third one. I can't quite remember. Um, it's not something that I do religiously. Um, sorry. Fat guy in a Thanos shirt. So I was thinking about that, um, uh, gameplay. Um, and I had mixed feelings about Spelljammer. Like... I never played D and D in the '80s and '90s, so I never have done any of the original Spelljammer campaigns. But flying airships through space sounds cool, um, but it doesn't fit my current gameplay. My with on high fantasy, it would be like high high fi sci-fi fantasy, you know, and uh, that's not any of the worlds that I play in. Um, But on Facebook, what has been going through my Facebook feed has been the perfect D&D &D party. And so I think that kind of goes in hand in hand on uh, the perfect D&D &D party and the Spelljammer party. Or the Spelljammer. Like, when they're playing this D&D &D game, this Spelljammer campaign, it looks like a lot of fun. They are having fun, and because they're having a blast... I enjoy watching it. Sorry, drink. Uh, so that is like one part sugar, three parts lemon juice, and then fill the rest with water. Stir nicely. It's amazing. You gotta have lemonade. It's the best drink in the summertime. Uh, even better if you throw mint in the lemonade. Or oh, that might just be the Middle Eastern in me. Sorry. Um, so we're talking about the perfect D&D &D party, and these guys make Spelljammer look fun. And there's all these, the perfect D&D &D parties on the Facebook memes, uh, that are D&D &D related, of course. And there's a couple groups that are doing this, and so you do see a lot of repeats. Um... But honestly, I have to say that the perfect D&D &D party is the party that you have fun playing with. 
I'm sorry guys, I ruined it all. Does Spelljammer make the perfect D&D party? I don't know. Will I play the Spelljammer campaign when it comes out? Probably not. Um, as though it does look like fun. It also depends on my party, but I don't think that they would be interested in something like that. It is a little wow wow out there. Um, I have a player who will probably steal characters, uh, PCs from there, just because there's new playable races and weird ones, and that's just what she goes to. Has to be the most weird, obscure racing class. And it's just like, dude, girl, come on. But that's to be expected from her. And having people that you enjoy playing with is what makes the perfect D&D party. You don't need to break it down and have a rogue, a paladin, a cleric based on characters from fantasy novels or anything like that. It's great if you guys can like work out who's gonna do what, you know, just so that there's not five tanks at a party. Uh, Cause it's really horrible when you got five tanks sitting around the table and there's no one that can heal. Just stating honest facts here, just honest facts. Uh, but, it is more enjoyable to be sitting around that table and everyone's having a fun time. Everyone's cracking jokes. Everyone's enjoying the food. Everyone's making fun of all the bad rolls. Because in D&D, you're going to have that. It's to be expected. You're gonna, you're gonna see a lot more ones. And that's what makes that when the 20 pops up, a natural 20. Everyone gets excited. And that excitement, you can't top that. The feeling around the table or Zoom screen. If you have a D&D &D party who reaches out to you and you've had a very bad week, you know you have the perfect D&D &D party. And to me, that is what makes the perfect D&D &D party. A party that's gonna love you party that's going to accept you for all your flaws, be your friend, help you out when you need it, show up to your D&D &D games. As a dungeon master, you can't ask for something better than that. I play with my friends. They're great people, and I do enjoy them. I have one player who started playing just because he asked. Because he was looking for a table to play with. He was like, how do I make friends after school when I'm done with school? And I was like, come to my table. He was a co-worker, so it worked out great. Wow, that fire's cooking. And he plays in both my games, and I wouldn't have it any other way. He's a great guy, and he brings fun and joy to the table. I think I'm going to knock a few of these locks down. Ooh, it's starting to get hot, too. All right, so uh, there was a little mishap with the phone getting a little too hot. So I apologize about that, so I had to change angles, move the phone away from the fire, and, uh, yeah. And, uh, honestly, for a moment, I broke a sweat just sitting here by the fire, just being honest. Um, so yeah, that was kind of fun. Hopefully I don't, uh, end up melting my phone this summer, you know, because I plan on doing more of these, um. So, yeah, that was not to be expected. So, I apologize for that brief interruption. But, uh, I wanted to say 
I was talking about adding this young guy to my party and he's been a lot of fun and I hate doing it but I have um, two players playing online with us because they started playing with us in person and then they left the state and they're just amazing people to play with amazing people in general I have become friends with the people that I play with um, and we've done camping trips together we've done fishing trips together we even just get together when we're not playing Dungeons and Dragons and do things together and it's it's great to have that bonding and I get not everyone's gonna get that uh, because you play Dungeons and Dragons, you play D&D at school or with a school group or a church group or uh, you play online and I feel for you, I understand but I think you get a much more enjoyable experience when uh, you're doing it with friends and not everyone clicks or mashes up well with the group. Uh, there's been a few people to come in and out of the D&D &D group, uh, whether because they were too old or their schedules didn't meet up with our schedules or they just did not work well with the group or the campaign or whatnot. And honestly, that is to be expected. Oh, summer in Alaska, four wheelers 24 seven. Gotta love it sunlight 24 7 get used to it you don't ever love it you get used to it uh, but it's great weather to just be outside uh, sitting next to a fire drinking awesome lemonade talking about D&D &D. so I've said this like five times but if you were to ask my opinion about the best D&D &D group I'm gonna say it's gonna be your friends hands down your friends Oh man, I got a stain on this shirt. <laughs> but since I have talked about those, and and to go on with that Spelljammer, I don't necessarily want to play the Spelljammer campaign. I want to play in a D and D group. I want to DM the group that has that constant fun. And I think I do have that. I do love my players. My players love me. It's great. We have fun. To go to the uh, memes that I've seen, I think the best, some of the best ones um, would be in no particular order. But the Hobbits and Gandalf, I think that's hilarious for one party. Uh, just because I, I I can see a campaign like that where everyone's a rogue. I can see that. Um, and I'm not saying that all the hobbits are rogues, but they're very mischievous. Uh, what are some other good ones? The Mighty Python Knights. And all the others are just like, um, I've seen that. Like someone posted the Critical Role guys and it's just like I've I've seen that um, one in Critical Role but watching the um, Vox Machina anime uh, what was another one oh someone showed uh, an old 80s campaign image I think from a book series or something but I don't know what it was it wasn't Dragonlance um, but it piqued my interest they were skinning a rabbit or goat or something um man what are some other good ones i think i think the mighty python and the uh, hobbits are the most memorable ones in my mind um because you know all people have shared sister bride no princess bride and it's just like you know it's a classic movie Is it really the perfect campaign? Willow. Yeah, someone shared that and I was just like, I love that movie. 
You know, I've not seen anyone do the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, someone did the Spice Girls, and I was just like, are you serious? Um, but yeah, I've, I haven't seen the Turtles, whether the comics or the 80s live action or the cartoon or the new crappy ones. Um, I'm surprised with all the furries in D&D uh, &D now. It wasn't, I haven't seen Pokemon yet. Anyhow, in the comments, let me know. Are you excited about the Spelljammer campaign coming out? Have you seen any of the episodes of them playing on the D&D YouTube? Um, are you, uh, what is your perfect, uh, what's your favorite, well, the perfect D&D party meme? If there's one that I haven't talked about that you've seen, let me know. And I will definitely hit you guys back in the comments. Because I want to keep this conversation going. That's the whole point of these uh, fireside chats. Is to talk. Have some fun. Relax. Get to know each other a little bit. And sip some lemonade. Um, I don't know how many of these fireside chats I'm going to do. But. Uh, it's going to be a fun summer guys. And I hope you Thank you for watching this video from the Arctic Dungeon Master. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you can get notifications. And if you really, really liked it, please think about supporting this channel by clicking on the buy me a coffee link in the description below. Every little bit helps. Thanks guys. See you next week.